Greetings, I'm Professor K. And in this short video presentation, we're going to see how we go about gathering the information using Recon NG. Recon NG is an open source tool designed for cybersecurity reconnaissance, information gathering, and reconnaissance tasks. Developed in Python, Recon NG provides a modular framework that facilitates the automation of various reconnaissance tasks, including open source intelligence, reconnaissance of web applications, and network reconnaissance. For this lab demonstration, I will be using one installation of VirtualBox, which has been updated and has the latest extension pack, and one virtual install of Kali Linux that has also been updated and upgraded. Recon NG comes pre-installed with Kali Linux, so all we have to do is open up a terminal. At the prompt, we're going to type in recon-ng, hit enter. To find out what commands are available for you inside of Recon NG, we can just use the help command. We're going to be working with some of these commands in here, marketplace, workspaces, modules, options, DB, and a couple of the other ones. Since this is a modular framework, we have to set up things in a modular fashion. And the first thing you have to do with Recon NG is establish a new workspace. Workspaces are separate spaces in which you can perform reconnaissance of different targets. Creating a workspace keeps things orderly and easy to find. When using Recon NG workspaces, all data located and collected is saved within a database in that workspace. So let's see how we go about creating that first workspace that we're going to use for this demonstration. Let's go ahead and list all the currently installed workspaces. To do this, at the prompt, I'm going to type in workspaces space list. Hit enter. And you'll see that we have the default workspace. To see what commands we can work with using the command workspaces, we can type in workspaces, give it a space, and type in the help command. And you'll see that we can use the command create, we can list, we can load, and we can remove. In this example, we'll create a temporary workspace called Kali. So I'm going to type in workspaces, create, Kali. Hit enter. And you'll notice that now I'm inside that workspace that we labeled Kali. Again, we can use our up arrow, and we can list our current available workspaces. And you'll see that we now have two available workspaces, one of them named Kali. To move to another workspace, I can use the load command. In this example, I've typed in workspaces load default. Now I'm in the default workspace. To remove or to delete a workspace, we can use the remove command. In this example, I've typed in workspaces remove Kali. Hit enter. My namespace was invalid because everything is case sensitive in Linux. So, if I want to remove Kali, I have to use the uppercase K. So, I'll try again. Workspaces remove Kali. Now, I'll bring up my workspaces list command and we'll check and see that Kali has been removed as a workspace. Let's go ahead and create a new workspace for this example that we're going to use to actually do a reconnaissance. So for this name, I'm going to call it pen test. So I'm gonna type in workspaces, create pen test. Hit enter, use my up arrow, do a list, there it is. Now that we have created a workspace so that we can store all of our reconnaissance information, our next step is to load some modules that we can put to work for us. Now to do this, I have to use the Marketplace command. The Recon NG Marketplace is a central repository within Recon NG that provides access to additional modules, scripts, and other resources contributed by the Recon NG community. It is a marketplace where users can discover and download extensions to enhance Recon NG's functionality for the various reconnaissance and information gathering tasks. So again, let's start off with the command marketplace. And again, let's use the help command to see what's available to us. And you see that with marketplace, 
we can see info, we can do an install, we can refresh, we can remove, and we can do a search. So if I bring back up my previous command, I get rid of help, and I type in search, Marketplace is going to show me all the available modules that are currently available to me up inside of Recon NG. I'll hit enter. And these are all the different modules that I can use for my reconnaissance work. Now these modules are broken down into categories. There's five different categories. You have discovery, exploitation, import, you have recon, and finally you have reporting. In Recon NG, modules are individual components that perform specific tasks related to reconnaissance and information gathering. These modules are designed to automate various aspects of the reconnaissance process, allowing users to collect data from different sources efficiently. Using the Marketplace command, we can load one module at a time, or we can load all the modules at once. Let's go ahead and load all the modules at one time. So in this example, I'm going to install all of the modules using the install command. So I have typed in Marketplace. I'll type in install give it a space, type in the word all, and I'll hit enter. And you will now see all of the modules that are available to me up inside of Marketplace install into my workspace pen test. And as you can see, there are quite a few modules that need to be installed. In our next example, well, before we start that, what you're seeing here in red are the modules that require an API key. An API key is something that is provided by the provider of the API that allows you to authenticate to whatever site it is that requires the API so that they can register your activity on their site if you're going to use it for gathering data. Not all of the modules require an API key. You're looking at the ones that do. Some of the API keys can be obtained just by registering with the site Others require that you jump through some hoops. Others are going to require that you pay a fee. Now, whether you're doing pen testing or you're doing digital forensics, one of the things that we love to do is gather information about individuals. Doing open source intelligence gathering is one of those things that we can do with Recon NG using one of the modules that is labeled Profiler. Most of us like to use the same moniker regardless of what site that we're going to register with on the internet. So this program here can use the internet along with this module called Profiler and it can find any profiles that the individual has registered on any number of different social networking sites. Let's see how we do this. So if you recall we have loaded every module that is available to us up inside of my workspace called Pentest. Inside of that pen test workspace is a module called Profiler. I'm telling the operating system here, this program, that I want to use the Profiler module. So I've typed in Modules Load Profiler. I'll go ahead and hit Enter. Notice that my prompt changes to let me know that I'm now using that module. So our workspace has a database. And now I'm going to add the profiler information into the database. Now to do this, I'm going to type in the following command. DB insert profiles. I'm now going to hit enter. And the next thing it wants to know is whose profile are we going to load into the workspace, into that database located in Pentest. And so I'm going to use my normal logon name for just about every social networking site that I belong to. So I'm going to type in C. Cranbill. And we're going to see exactly what social networking sites I belong to. I'll go ahead and hit enter. I'll hit enter one more time. Hit enter again. Hit enter one more time. One more time. And now we're back to my prompt. And here, all I have to do is type in the word run, and Recon NG will start working. And you can see that it's going through 
just about every social networking site that was ever created, and there are a lot of them, and it pops up and it lets you know exactly what profiles were discovered with that username. When we're done, to list all of those profiles that were discovered, we'll do a show profiles. Okay, we're getting very close to the end here. So it stopped with the first search and it came up and it says that there are 11 profiles found with the username C. Cranbill. Now to show these profiles, I'll just type in show profiles. And here are all the profiles that are listed that currently have a profile or a account listed under C. Cranville. Nothing of interest to anyone here. Uh, I recognize most of these sites at one time or another. I probably did have a profile on Hugging Face, which seems to be a text site. I don't believe that's available anymore. It may be. I don't know. Anyway, these links up here are clickable. All you have to do is right click and say open the link and it'll take you right on out to that site and you can see what's going on with your profile and all that good information. So I'm going to go ahead and close that out and we're going to get on to the next item that we have to discuss. Now when it comes to doing website reconnaissance, Recon NG would be hard to beat. It's got so many interesting modules that you can use. Now the one that I'm going to use is called Hacker Target. And we're going to look at a well-known site and see how much information we can pull off of that domain for Tesla. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. So again, the module that I want to load is called Hacker Target. Now this is a well-known module up here inside of Recon NG. And we're going to go ahead and load that real quick. And you notice my prompt changes to let you know that I'm now inside or I'm using that particular module. Now, if you're not sure of what commands are available with this module, Hacker Target, you can just type in help. And you can see all the different commands that are available with this particular module. If you would like some information about what this module actually does and who created it and what version you're currently using, just type in the word info. So in the description you can see that Hacker Target API can be used to host names, to find host names, updates the host names table with the results, and this includes any secondary level domains. Now just like Metasploit, you have to look at the options to see what you have to provide this particular module so that it can do its job. So I'm going to do something called show options. So I'm now ready to set the options for our particular module, which is Hacker Target. Hacker Target requires that I set the source. In this case, the source is the domain name Tesla.com. So I have typed in at the prompt options set space source, all capital letters, space the name of the domain. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. Now all I have to do is type in the word run and let's see what happens. And it goes out there and it says that it found 47 new hosts that belong to Tesla.com. Now what you're looking at here in this list are all the second level domain along with the IP address. If you would like to have this consolidated so that we just see the host with the IP address, I can just type in show host. And here you see all the second level domains with just their IP addresses and it tells you which module was used to gather the information. So before we get out of here, the last thing we have to talk about is the Recon NG web interface. Now to get to this, we have to launch a Python script that will start the Recon NG web interface. So let's see how we find that directory. So the first thing we're going to do, I'm going to use my up arrow here. First thing we have to do is change directories. We have to get into the recon-ng directory. Now to do this, I've typed in cd, change directory, space, forward slash usr, forward slash share, forward slash recon-ng. I'll hit enter. Notice my prompt changes to let us know that we're now working inside that directory. The next thing I want to do is type in ls 
that's going to show me everything that's inside this directory. And you'll see that we have an executable called recon-web. Now to get this to work, all I have to do is just type in dot, a forward slash, and I type in the name of that particular script. This is a Python script. So I'm going to go ahead now and hit enter. And that starts the web interface for Recon NG. And to get to it, all I have to do is just put my mouse here. And I'll right click on this and I'll say open link. And now it's going to open that up for me. Now notice that it's in the default workspace. So I want to go into the pen test workspace. And it says that it found 47 hosts, 11 profiles. So this is all the information that it found. And I can go through these tabs up here depending on which modules I ran and I can see all the information categorized easily for me up here inside of this web interface. Not only that, but when I get done, I can also push it out as, as a report in a number of different formats. So let's take a look at the host. And now that I show the host, I can go down here to export and you can see that I can export this as a CSV a Johnson file, a list, a proxy, an Excel, uh, XML. And I can also include what I want in that report. I want the IP address. That's great. IP address. I want the country. Perhaps I want the country. The module that I was used. And then I can filter all that information out. And there you go. And so that's the web interface that you can use to create yourself a readable report that you can actually hand off to a client if that's what you want to do. I'm going to include the URL in the description for this particular web page. It is a GitHub site and it is for the API keys on how to locate them, how you can sign up, what the prices are, if any, what you have to do to get the API keys. And this is all pertaining to Recon NG. And so in this short video presentation, you got to see just a little bit of the capabilities of Recon NG. This is a very powerful framework. It's got a lot of capability to really dig under the hood. You'd have to spend a lot of hours and a lot of effort to be able to appreciate everything that Recon NG has to offer. That's all I got for you. If you have any questions or concerns, please don't hesitate to reach out and contact your instructor. And thank you for watching.